So last night at 2 o'clock in the morning, the first trailer for Black Widow dropped and I watched it immediately and I loved it. I thought it was a well done trailer. It had a lot of vibes similar to like Winter Soldier. It kind of had the same sort of uh, feel as that movie did and that's one of the best MCU movies ever. So that's definitely a point in favor for Black Widow as well. This movie looks fantastic and Scarlett Johansson just looks as incredible as always. This movie looks looks great. I am really, really excited to see this movie. But then after I finished the trailer and I started watching it a second time, I started to get sad. I started to think about the fact that Black Widow is actually dead in the MCU at this point. And then I started to think about the fact that we are now getting a Black Widow movie now after she is dead. And it reminded me how similar it is to the situation with Han Solo, where in Force Awakens he died, and then a couple years later we're getting a solo movie. It's kind of the same th thing to me. It's like, okay, but she's dead now in the MCU. Why are we getting a movie for her now? Why didn't we get a movie for her before her story was finished? It doesn't make any sense to me, and I don't understand why Marvel did it this way, especially after the fact that fans have been clamoring for a Black Widow movie for years. I've been wanting a Black Widow movie ever since the first Avengers movie that came out in 2012. Um, I've been wanting a Black Widow movie. I love Black Widow, and so many fans love Black Widow as well. We love this character. Why is it that we got Captain Marvel, a character that nobody really cares about, uh, a very unlikable character in a lot of ways. Why did we get a movie for her? Why is it that she had to be the first female solo movie in the MCU? Not only that, but Marvel, after they released Captain Marvel, or even while they were kind of working on it and stuff, they're like, look at us, look how amazing we are that we are releasing a female solo movie. We are the best. We are just so enlightened and per perfect in every way. Meanwhile, there's a bunch of fans that are sitting there being like, uh, we've been wanting a Black Widow movie for years. We've been demanding one. Why is it that we are getting this random female character that nobody really cares about? Why are we getting her now instead of Black Widow? What they should have done is they should have placed the Black Widow movie in the slot that Captain Marvel was in. If we got a Black Widow movie kind of between Infinity War and Endgame, that would have been a perfect way to close... Black Widow's characters, uh, her story, it would have been a perfect way to set up the emotional climax of her character's arc. It would have been beautiful. It would have been an amazing thing to witness. And I think that, that would have served the movie much better and would, would have served the character of Black Widow better. But instead, we got Captain Marvel. Why? Scarlett Johansson is way cooler than Brie Larson will ever be. Her character is much more likable and relatable. She's way cooler. Um, I'm sure they could have figured out some way to make Black Widow's movie have the same sort of importance that Captain Marvel did. I mean, think about it. Like, in Infinity War, we got, like, this setup with, uh, you know, Nick Fury holding the, the collar, the pager thing for, for Captain Marvel and stuff. And he's, like, trying to push it before he fades to dust and stuff. And then we get Captain Marvel's movie. And then we get her showing up in Endgame. But she didn't even really do that much in Endgame. Like, what did she do? Okay, she saved Tony Stark. They're, they could have figured out some way to save her. To sa save him some other way. If they wanted to. And then she at the, shows up at the end. And she flies through Thanos' ship. Wow. Cool. Awesome. She was like, uh, wow. We couldn't have done it without Captain Marvel. Wow. Wow. Big deal. They could have figured out some way to make Black Widow just as important in in Endgame as she was as Captain Marvel. In fact, she was more important than Captain Marvel was. She she sacrificed her life so that they could get the stone. <laughs> she, she, uh, yet they they make Captain Marvel seem like she's such a big deal. She is the queenest of queens. She's the best. She is the best. And if you don't like Captain Marvel, you're a sexist. Oh, you like Black Widow still? Well. You're still a sexist because you don't like Captain Marvel. And that's the, that's the hero that Marvel wants you to like, is Captain Marvel. It makes me angry. It makes me really angry. And even just re-watching this trailer and just realizing the fact that we had just an amazing female character. One of my favorite characters in the MCU. Yet she was kicked to the side in place for, you know... Hillary Clinton's hairstyle lady <laughs> over there, Captain Marvel. And it, it just makes me angry. It's like, why why are we getting a Black Widow movie now? Her story is over. It's closed. Why? Why didn't we get this a year ago or two years ago? It. I can't believe it. 
I can't believe it. And that's the, that's the, the sad thing about this trailer to me. It's what made me sad after I finished watching this trailer is that this could have been something amazing. Um, this could have been something that I would have been extremely excited about because I've been wanting a Black Widow movie for years now, like seven years. I've been wanting a Black Widow movie. And now that her story's over, finally they're like, oh, well, we'll, we'll give you one now. We'll give you one now, everybody. Um, and it, 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 it pisses me off. It really does. I'm sorry. Um, but with that being said, the movie does look fan fantastic. Um, you know, um, and, uh, I'm still going to go see it, but I'm not going to be as invested as excited for it as I would have been if they released it like at the beginning of this year in place of Captain Marvel or something like that. So with that being said, um, let me know in the comments below what you think about the trailer. If you've seen it, um, honestly, like as far as like the actual trailer goes, like it just, I don't know. It has a lot of like, bon uh, Jason Bourne type of, it kind of has the Jason Bourne type of feel to it. Um, you know, I can't wait to, to see, uh, all these different characters in the movie and stuff. Um, the action looks great. It, it definitely feels different than the the typical Marvel formula, which I am happy for as well because I like their movies that are a little bit different, like Winter Soldier, and uh, Black Widow is probably going to be another one of those movies. Um, Scarlett Johansson's amazing. She, I I love her, and uh, I can't wait to see her in this movie. So, with that being said, let me know in the comments below what you think. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you later. Bye.